God be the glory, all blessings, you heard? What's going on YouTube? What's going on guys? Oh, I think my camera almost done. What's going on YouTube? What's going on guys? It's your boy Matt Thomas, it's your boy Royalty. Before we get into the video, I need you to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't <laughs> if you haven't pressed the button, what are you waiting for? And also, you know, the little little bell over here that be jangling, jangling. I need you guys to push that push notification button. Because I be posting videos, and I'm not going to lie, I don't see enough of y'all too thin. Especially when I go live. I see like maybe five. I got over 2,000 subscribers. <laughs> I'm waiting for you guys to tune in. I need 2,000 2, in my live. I need, to, I need to be able to type fast. My fingers need to hurt after that, you know what I mean? But that's neither here nor there. Right now, ladies, 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 I'm giving you the 10 reasons that he's just not that into you. <laughs> don't, don't kill the messenger. I'm gonna tell you this right now. So after you're watching this video, if you're sitting there texting, like, wow. Really? Really? <laughs> you know, just you know, just I, I'm just gonna expose the truth. Copy? Number one, let's just let's just let's just jump into it. Number one, I'm big on this. Abuse. Whether verbal or mental abuse. If he is abusing you like that, I feel like he is not the one for you. I feel like in this day and age, with how much you know toxicity is going on and how much negativity is praised, that's the last thing you need from your significant other is a person that's over here, you know, um, abusing you mentally and let alone physically. Like this ain't no, this ain't no boxing match. You know, this ain't one of those situations that you need to be in. I don't care what's going on. You know, um, I don't care how much you love an individual. You know, that never ends good. That never ends good. So if you find yourself uh, battling with yourself mentally with your significant other because, you know, they're very, you know, mentally abusive or verbally abusive, you know, let's, let's, let's deal with that. As far as physical, you got to tell somebody. I feel like, you know, it might not be my place, but I'm going to just tell you if you're getting beat up, he's clearly not the one for you. Number two, if you find yourself being judged, let the first man that doesn't commit sin cast the first stone. Everybody, every, every, nobody's perfect. J. Cole said it. You know what I mean? Nobody's perfect. So don't let nobody judge you and tell you, you know, about your life and tell you, like, you know, you're not, you're not doing enough or you're not doing things. I mean, people can give advice and give suggestions, but if he judges you in, in the sense of you're trying hard and you're trying to make your life better and he just keeps beating you in the head and keeps telling you, no, you're not doing enough. And he keeps telling you, like, you know, you're too comfortable or you're not doing enough to make me happy. What about me, me, me? If he's one of those, you got to get rid of him, sis. You got to. You got to. Because all you're going to find yourself doing is raising somebody else's child. You know what I mean? You don't need no mama's boys in your life. Although I'm a mama's boy, you don't need no mama's boys in your life. You know, I'm an independent mama's boy, but I'm still a mama's boy. But you don't need those mama's boys in your life. You understand what I'm saying? So that's number two. We, we only we only into two, so don't don't click off the video yet, cause you your your boyfriend, baby father might be in this, right? So make sure you still tune in. Number three, you ladies find yourselves trying to date these uh these thugs. And you know, you just wanna be gangsters and all that. You dating people that you want, want your kids to be nothing like, but hey, don't shoot the messenger. I'm gonna tell you that right now. You dating the guy that ain't got no priorities, but you want a future with him. You want a little little thuggers running around. You gang, gang, gang. <laughs> You want, you want a bunch of little gangsters running around, right? You, you want to see if you're going to be there. You're not going to make it past the age of 35. You got to date with a guy that got priorities. Stop dealing with these guys that don't have no priorities, don't have no morals, don't have nothing standing for themselves. If, 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 if this guy don't have more than five pairs of underwear, you should not be dating this man. I'm going to tell you that. I, I swear, because if he can't recycle his underwear, what is he doing with his life? I'm sorry. <laughs> you better not be posting pictures on the gram. What is he doing? You need a man with priorities. Because if you prioritize and he prioritizes and y'all put your prioritizing together, I think that's the word. If you do that, then I feel like you guys can grow together. But if he don't got priorities, I mean, you just set, set, you just set yourself up for the kill. You abusing yourself mentally dealing with that. That's number three. Sorry, I'm passionate about this. I'm going to just jump on number four. Number four, if you can't talk to him. First of all, communication is a big fact. If you can't talk to your significant other, uh, I feel like you got to clip it. 
And, and whoa, whoa, before y'all get out of hand, make sure you guys are actually able to, you know, be able to talk. You know, I mean, don't, don't, don't sub them. You know, really talk to them. Like, baby, I need to talk to you. I need to let you know what's going on in my mind, what's going on in my heart. You know what I mean? That number, this, this is the one, this is how you're going to know if he's for you. This is how you're going to know. If you, if you can't talk to him, what you doing? Y'all just rocking, cuddling, and, and, and kicking it? He double tapping a couple of your pictures, and you happy? Like, seriously. Like, like, what are we doing in life? If you're not dating to marry, then you should not be dating. <laughs> you should not be... Should be gone. You feel me? It, 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 that's, that's just something totally different. That's just for another topic here or there. You know, click... Click the links and stuff like that because I got videos talking about stuff like that. You guys want some more spicy things. Number five, if he cheats on you. I'm going to tell you this right now. Number five, if he cheats on you, he's not the one for you. And if you take him back, don't beat him in the head about cheating because that's just as much your fault as it is for. I'm just telling you that. If he cheats on you and you take him back, don't keep saying, why did you do it? I just don't understand. Let him go, sis. There are eight Billion people in the world <laughs> You you stuck on one. I mean seriously. I mean like You gotta do better. You gotta do if he cheats on you. You just gotta you gotta leave and I I, I know I'm, I'm I could be hypocritical sometimes I can want to give somebody another chance, but you know, I ain't got time for it. Not in this day and age. You feel me? So If he cheats just leave, you know, don't don't do it to yourself. He, he, he's just not for you You know God is for you ain't gonna do that to you number six if he takes you for granted, nowadays a lot of people take people for granted. They see a cash cow, they jump on it. They see a nice body, they jump on it. If they're only like, you know, taking you for granted for what you can do for them as far as, you know, uh, financially or sexually and stuff like that, that's not the guy for you. You need to leave old boy alone. That's not, that's not it. He's not the one for you. And if you, if, if you got any of these numbers before number six, you should have been left. And if you're still debating on if you should text him right now, you should have been texting him. Actually, pull your phone out right, pull your phone out right now. Yeah. And send a text. Don't send an emoji either because emoji is not going to take you serious. Send a text. If he takes you for granted, I mean, what are you doing? What are you doing? You got to do better. All right? I care about you and, and who you dealing with. So, I mean, like, let's run this back, Trevor. Feel me? Number seven. This is, this is a big one, ladies. This is a big one. If he tells you he's not the one, stop trying to convince him and tell him that he's the one. He's making a clear statement like, yo, baby girl, I'm not it for you. So then if anything happens from then, if any heartbreaks happen from then, you can then not put this on this man. He told you, I'm not it. That's like the story of the... The snake and the man, when the man found the snake on the end of the road and the, and the snake was injured and he cared for the snake, he catered to the snake, he fed the snake, and then when the snake was healthy, the snake bit him. And he was like, why did you bite me? I, I cared for you all this time. Right now, you're the man and he's the snake. And he says, but you knew I was a snake. And then he died. Don't be this man. Don't, don't, don't do it to yourself. Because then you're asking for it. And if you ask for it, I mean, you know how it goes, right? So if he tells you, believe him the first time. Stop telling him, no, you, you it. I mean, you could manifest. But yeah, like, you know, that's number seven. Number eight, he ignores your texts. If he ignores your texts, he don't want to talk to you. Either that, you have boring conversation. If he's not texting you, you text somebody else. If he ignores your texts, how do you know he's ignoring your texts? Uh, let me see. Maybe you text him and, and he like he like on social media. I mean, but he on social media crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like you text him, he posts, but then he posts again. And then he posts again. It's like, you know, you know, some time went by, you know, don't be crazy, ladies. Five minutes, ten minutes go by, a little thirty minutes go by. You know, maybe he just don't want to respond fast enough. But you gonna know when he ignores you. Because y'all ignore us. Y'all ignore us. So you gonna know when he ignoring you. And some, you know, some of y'all crazy, so don't think that because he didn't respond within 30 seconds that he don't care about you because y'all just jumped out the window with that one. So let's just run it back turbo. Number nine, this is, this is a big one. If he pressures you into sex, if he pressures you into sex, honestly, he probably just want to kill. Uh, now in this day and age, you know, that's what a lot of people find themselves doing. Uh, and, you know, what, you know, what's going to happen when we hang out, you know? 
Like, I know we're going to be Netflix and chilling, but are we going to be, you know, killing, you know? If he, if he always throwing that sex talk out there and all that, then, you know, maybe he's not the guy for you. Uh, obviously, you know, you know, he, he just wants you for one thing. And, um, you know, your body is sacred. I don't care what nobody say. I, I really don't believe in, the, like, the double standards. Like, women can be with as many men as men and women. I, I disagree. I feel like women are sacred. I feel like you guys are our treasure chest. I feel like you guys are, like, the golden sand that can't nobody find. So I feel like you got to value yourself. Value yourself to a certain point where nobody can just get to you. You know what I mean? And and don't, don't, you know, just don't, just don't subject yourself to just doing that because you want to experience some type of love. You know what I mean? I, you guys are better than that. So let's, let's, let's be better than that, you know, collectively. Number 10. Number 10. Last but not least, he avoids commitment. Um, and this one, you got to be very particular about this. He avoids commitment. A lot of men tend to avoid commitment because uh, they like, you know, you know, juggling options. They like uh, not being tied down to one person or, um, you know, just by choice. Uh, I, I can speak on this as a guy because I avoid commitment. Uh, my reasons, I feel like, differ as far as my reasoning for avoiding commitment, but... Um, I feel like a lot of guys will put it out there why they avoid a commitment. If this man does not push him towards dreams, if this man is not trying to be better as an individual, if this man um, uh, chooses to you know avoid commitment, but he's committed to playing 2K or committed to you know this or committed to that, yeah, he, he just might not be it for you. Um, everybody has different reasons. Before you judge a man, you know I'm gonna say you know you know f figure out his scars. Sometimes he might have commitment issues because he didn't get that type of love growing up. You know he might have commitment issues because every time he loved hard, you know um, people folded on him. Or then he might have commitment issues because he just don't think you it. And a lot of you think you it, but you really not it. And that's me being honest. Everybody that I know, every girl that be talking be saying I'm a wife, and I'm a girlfriend, and I. Everybody in the world cannot be a wife and cannot be a girlfriend. If you're watching this video, you're like, I'm, I, you must not be talking about me. Uh, all right, cool. But for real, like, what makes everybody so special? Let's just, let's just woo side. Sometimes guys say it. They just don't see a wife in you. They just don't see, you know, a girlfriend in you. And it's not no disrespect to you, you know, um, but sometimes you're just not it. And this is coming from, you know, your local, uh... <laughs> Handsome bachelor, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I, I'm just telling you, this is the 10 signs of he's not into you. So uh, take it with a grain of salt. Take it on the chin and uh, you got it, champ. Don't, don't, don't worry about it, sweetheart. There's <laughs> somebody else out there for you. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And if you want to see another video, if you want another video of... 10 reasons of why she's not into you. Like, ladies, now, if you want me to say why you guys are not into us guys, I need you guys to comment down below. I need you guys to comment. I, I need it. Comment down below and say, listen, we want to know what you think it is, the reasons why we don't commit. Why she's not for uh, you. You know what I mean. All right? Make sure you guys do that, man. I'll talk to you guys later, man. It's your boy, Matt Thomas. It's your boy, Royalty. Over. And out. Uh, wait. Did you like? Alright. Bye. <laughs>